Good morning. Oh. I guess that happens when you play bingo all night. Wonderful good morning. We missed the first talk actually. All the guys are coming. And we are <laughs> all this paparazzi every time. Oh. Yeah, so we had a very fun day. Uh, we laughed a lot and now we're going to catch some breakfast probably. Um, buy some supplies, get some water, probably try to catch the next talk and see what is out in paddle for the day. And with a, with a brush, uh, with a texture. You can also start with a picture, that could be possible. So, let's say this is going to be my following. This is my main subject, that's why it's in white and black so far. It should look like. What is interesting is that kind of light, very strong one, just like a, a torch, and basically that projects shadow very strong. It's a building a moment. How did you like your presentation? It was great. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah? What did you like about it? All these different techniques. Mm -hmm. Like the, 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 the shape. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And it was, really, it was really interesting. I popped up for the rest of the event. So. Yep, yep. Cafe, empty cafe. Where? Let's go. Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah. Finally finished the second page of the drawing. I had really trouble with the pose to be honest. So we go now to the gallery opening. Oscar is going to the other talk, that is a CG talk. So apparently there are different talks at the same time. So you basically have to choose what you want to see. The talks will be recorded, so basically watch it, re-watch it later on. The question is, where's Valentin? Yeah, Valentin is right here. There he is. He's <laughs> First of all, I want to talk a little bit about myself. My name is Jesper Rising. I'm a Danish fantasy artist. My biggest hero of all time, Paul Bonner, a British fantasy artist. <laughs> I only had fish from one lake in Africa called Tanganyika. None of the fish had any real names, they were only Latin names, so I had to figure out how, what they were called. That was very exciting for me, you know. I dived into that world as much as I did with the birds. So I need to say that was really, really cool. And I feel very bad that I didn't know the guy before, but I think you can know everyone, to my defense. Really cool. I liked it really a lot. It reminded me extremely of the Evan... What is this guy? Evan Amundsen? Evan Amundsen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Evan Amundsen. Uh, ah, okay. Okay, so yeah. Like yeah. 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 Very cool. How do you guys like it? You guys are quiet. Yeah. You I'm, don't like it? I'm a big fan of this guy. I mean, when you play Magic, you just the half of the illustration is come from him. So, okay. Yeah, big, big fan. And uh, yeah, I'm super happy to, to see the guy. Mm. He seems also pretty nice. Yeah, mm. maybe uh, I can play with him some uh, magic. Do you have your deck with you? No, but oh, he, yeah. he brought uh, oh, yeah, two, you two play decks. With him. So I'm sure you have a question. You want to play with him? No, I want you to play with him. I'm not sure. Good. I think he plays as much as you, so mm. we'll see. Who is uh, Wacom 1? Um, Who's drawing the face? It's me. Ah, okay. Hey, hey. We do. You can join together. Yeah, yeah it's pretty fun actually. Alright, we just had a little break. We had some food also. Oscar did some paperwork. Dimitri was sketching. But besides that, uh, everything's pretty chill. Just posted the sketch and hopefully I can at least start the next page today. Oh, that's very dangerous. Coffee right to drawing. I never will leave this room, man. No. <laughs> I started using coffee long time ago. You were not born. <laughs> you know? 
1990 in London. One, I remember the second Hi, Jasper. Sure. How are you doing? Fine, thanks. How are you? I really enjoyed your presentation. Oh, thank it was you really so much. cool. That means a lot to me. You say that. When I saw all the artworks you showed, um, you yeah. have in terms of ratio when it comes to for example the face and the eyes and the ears yeah. a very certain um, proportional look like uh -huh. that the eyes, eyes are a little bit smaller uh -huh. and yeah and the ears are a little bit bigger but you yeah. have a very strong sense to push the shapes yeah. how do you develop that that um, is it from like the guy you studied over the years does it has to do with that or yeah i think it's uh I never wanted to be naturalistic mm -hmm. because I thought there were so many other artists that could do that way better than me. Mm -hmm. So I was always interested in the one that had slightly stylized styles like Paul Bonner or Kevin Walker or people, actually people from the comic book industry. Mm -hmm. uh, so a lot of my heroes were people that did comics. I just tried to translate what they did into something of fa like fantasy. So my, my inspiration was always part comics, part you know, Frasetta, Michael Wien, mm -hmm. all the old fantasy heroes. I never knew that I... Actually, in the beginning, a lot of people told me, you can't do what you do in fantasy. Mm. Because your style is much more suited for children, but because I'm cartoonish and, mm. and stylized. Mm. Until I met Paul Bonner. Yeah, Paul okay. said, you just do what you like, and mm. you just treat treat the character as it, it was lit by a real light source. Mm -hmm. That way you create credibility in a stylized figure and that will sell it. Okay. So, and that was what he was doing, right? So I was more or less, in the beginning I thought I couldn't use my style much mm. and then I found out ah, it doesn't matter. Okay. Of course I can. I so so basically when you push the shape let's say for an ear you basically just try to make sure that it looks like an ear but you exaggerate the shape as exactly. much as I, possible i try to exaggerate as much as i possibly can without it looking mm. silly mm. and then i pull a little bit back mm. but it's also i think it's more expressive mm -hmm. i think the cartoonish style lets the audience read more into it than yeah. i defined everything so often the paintings i do uh, that i feel are most unsuccessful are the one where I had too much of a reference, like a photographic reference that I transferred too closely. Mm, you then tried to stick to the yeah, okay, yeah, then, makes sense. So I really tried to just take it as long as I can from my own imagination mm. and then use reference to And go with the expression and the flow yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. And, and I never practiced the style, it just grew mm. out of what I liked, mm. I guess. And I never knew I had a style, I always thought that I was just some mimic of a lot of my heroes mm -hmm. until a company I worked for said we really love your style for this game mm. I think it's key to our mm. product no, no, no. Thank you very much Yeah, you're welcome, thanks when it's fast like that, you kind of don't get too attached. You shut off your mind, you can't think. Exactly. It becomes an, an organic uh, problem. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, you guys, have a seat in this song, come on.